So leveling up the battle pass fast in Vanguard or Warzone can be a really long and boring journey, but in this video I'm going to show you how to make it as quick and as easy as possible for the fourth season of Vanguard and Warzone. Very quickly, I'm doing a giveaway for when I hit 30,000 subscribers for over 2,000 COD points you can use towards tiers, buying the season 4 battle pass, in-store items, that kind of thing. If you're interested in entering that giveaway, the rules for that in the description, but all you need to do is like the video, comment your Twitter username below this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon to turn on post notifications, and finally follow me on Twitter, my username is RagerGamer, the link for that is in the description. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Um, this video provides every single way to level up tiers faster in Season 4 of Vanguard and Warzone, so be sure to stay tuned till the end of the video, it's packed full of tips, but if you do want to jump to a specific part of the video, there will be timestamps in the description. The main ways to tier up faster include the time played, XP earned, double battle pass XP tokens and weekends, earning cop points, and finally tier skips. The Vanguard Warzone integration means that the battle pass content is linked to Warzone and Vanguard, so you can only use the stuff in those games, but you can also level up tiers in Modern Warfare and Black Ops Cold War as well. So first we can talk about the boost to speed up battle pass progression, and then we'll talk about the best ways in Vanguard and Warzone zone to kind of level up the battle pass fast. Firstly for the boost, the first thing is tier skips. Every 50 levels in season 4 you get a tier skip, so level 50 gives you one tier skip, level 100 gives you second and so on. Now there's other ways to get free tier skips too, like buying certain bundles or alternatively there were occasionally free gift bundles in the store for Cold War that gave tier skips. Look out for those in the for you section of the store, they may turn up in Vanguard and Warzone. Keep an eye out for special events like double tier progression comes at least twice a season normally and two one hour battle pass XP tokens were recently given out in season 2 of Vanguard and Warzone, so obviously make use of those. Just to let you no, double XP tokens and weakens themselves don't count. That's different from double battle pass XP tokens. So just make sure you're not thinking that using double XP tokens counts because they don't. And finally, earning tier skip from the battle pass can be used by tiers if you need, but obviously it's a waste. Alternatively, if you enter my giveaway and win, you could obviously use those COD points to do it for free. So let's start off with Vanguard. We'll talk about multiplayer zombies and then we'll move on to Warzone. So for Vanguard, multiplayer and all other modes, actually, the most important thing is the time played. So you want longer matches. So modes like Domination, Hardpoint, Patrol, Champion Hill, that kind of thing. The caveat is you need to be doing well in these matches too to earn a lot of XP. So it needs to be longer time played and more XP earned. So in terms of XP earned, you want high XP maps and modes, so ones like Shipman or Death House 24-7 Mosh Pit playlists, or some with the new DLC maps, if you like those, they're pretty good, uh, you can get a lot of kills fast. If there's no good 24-7 matches, then play longer games with objectives and high XP like Domination, Patrol, Champion Hill, those kind of ones. Hardcore modes, if possible, because you get more kills, and finally equip the decoy grenade and use them every time you spawn in, as if an enemy nearby to it dies, you get XP and an assist, and you can get about several thousand extra XP at the end of the game just by using these, so they're definitely worth using don't miss out on using those tips for doing well in multiplayer are things like having a good class obviously if you need to level up weapons fast to get better attachments and check out my weapon xp guide kill streaks equipment and field upgrades make sure you're using them all to help you get more kills and also to get scores in the meantime and also getting kills things like that go for the objective as much as possible i can't stress this enough pick up tags go for the flag do whatever to help your team that gets you most of the points and it's really good for leveling up your battle pass fast get as many kills as possible obviously and finally use the surplus attachment for a 20 percent weapon xp bonus you also want to be doing challenge so in multiplayer you've got the career challenges also if you go to barracks tab progression season 4 season prestige challenges you'll get about 20 challenges each one gives you xp and then you get a bonus for completing all 20 prestige challenges in season 4 we've also got the camera challenges the atomic cameras for multiplayer there's a playlist if you need help with that for a card on screen and a link in the description with lots of the camera guides gold gun guides that kind of thing we've also got reticle challenges so make sure you're getting kills with a certain reticle or whatever the challenge says doing those will get you more xp too and then finally i can't stress enough overlap the challenges as much as possible so do a challenge that overlaps with the career, the seasonal prestige challenges, the camo challenges, reticle challenges, that kind of thing. They all, all involve normally getting kills in some way, so try and link it up so you can get as many of these done as quickly as possible. That's how you're going to level up your battle pass fast, by overlapping challenges. Now let's move on to zombies. So for Shinonuma, that's the new round based map for season 4. You obviously want to survive as long as possible, so make sure to pack a punch your weapon, buy perks, unlock alter covenants after each objective, you know, for example, to deal more damage. Use artifacts to survive as long as possible, get as many critical hit kills and headshots and medals, like for example rapidly killing five enemies in a row and boss zombie kills as well like stone creakers as they give more xp you also want to get the wonder weapon as well complete the main and side easter eggs that kind of thing and there'll be guides for those if you guys need yeah that's pretty much it for shino new it's nothing too complicated or kind of really out there if there's some other really good tip i'll make sure to sort of put it somewhere on this video in the uh, comments or something but yeah that's pretty much it for shino numa we're also going to talk about darang fang and terra Maledicta, and then we can afterwards talk about which mode is best so for darang fang and 
Terra Maledicta there's the more objective based maps rather than just round based and for these you want to keep completing objectives like Blitz, Transmit and Harvest are best, ones like Purge and Sacrifice are the worst so try and avoid those and do these as fast as you can because it gives you a set amount of XP so the faster you do it the better. You want to kill all the spawn area zombies between objectives, don't go for all of them but go for as many as you can while you're waiting to teleport from one area to the next or while you're just waiting for a bit. Survive for as long as possible, make sure you pack punch your weapon, buy perks, unlock all covenants for each objective, use artifacts that kind of thing and make use of your equipment to kill boss zombies and take cover if they're firing at you like the stone creakers. Get as many critical hit kills, headshots, medals like rapidly killing five zombies in a row, boss zombie kills like stone creakers as I said a minute ago as they give you more XP and finally do the void objective. Shino Numa is sort of unlimited rounds within that objective based map until you get to round 15 to 20 then you can return to spawn area, kill all the remaining zombies in exfil which will trigger a final wave of zombies to attack you before running to the portal. Obviously the main thing is time played so you want to survive as long as possible but also doing those objectives fast will get you more XP too. So it's Shino Numa for the Darren Krang map or for the Terra Maledicta map it's like a, it's the ether place so either of those will get you XP just for doing that sort of unlimited round objective within it. Finally for zombies you want to be doing challenges again so career challenges, seasonal prestige challenges each one gives you XP and a bonus for completing all 20. Different camo challenges for a multiplayer so we've got the dark ether camos this time so make sure you're doing the challenge for both zombies and multiplayer um, and also reticle challenges are different for zombies and multiplayer as well so make sure you're doing both of those. That's kind of everything for Vanguard really so now let's move on to Warzone and for Warzone again you want the time played to be as long as possible so longer matches are better and you need to be doing well in those matches too so getting more XP so you want to have a good class and you know if you need to level up weapons fast to get better attachments like I say check out my weapon XP guide look up videos on good classes if you guys are struggling and you want to be doing as much looting as possible like opening loot crates more money helps you buy more equipment but it also gives you more XP overall and you also want to open loot boxes run over dead enemies farm piles of cash as floor loot so for example on top of roofs in unsearched rooms that kind of thing you want to be getting more kills so you want a decent class usually mini map heartbeat sensor compass and sounds to find where enemies are do as many contracts as you can so supply run contracts are super fast and easy but you've also got recon the new ones like the top secret and big game bounty those are really good too and try to go between them fast with a helicopter and atv i've made guides on contracts if you guys need you want to survive longer so be careful and safe don't run and gun otherwise dying soon is a poor amount of tier progression this is more relevant for br this tip but yeah the longer you survive the higher you place in matches and the more xp and time played which is faster progression placement bonus for warzone br but also plunder as well so for warzone br it's how long you survive relative to anyone else for plunder it's the amount of cash you earn and don't forget to use the transport system as well to quickly travel from one location to another it saves lots of time this is a fairly new feature to the game also in the pre-game lobby don't forget to get pre-game lobby kills as these count towards xp and weapon xp and use the surplus attachment on vanguard weapons for a 20 percent xp boost and also the pointsman perk if you're playing br or rebirth in warzone to boost the xp earned from each contract now let's talk about the best gamers in warzone first is obviously plunder or at the moment they've got golden plunder we have to get 5 million rather than 2 million cash this is a great game mode overall for easy xp and it's really fast way of leveling up tiers so less than the 15 minute plunder normal plunder game can give you over one whole tier of progress if you place well and play effectively which is up to five tiers an hour obviously it's higher if you use the if you do it on double battle pass xp weekends or if you've got double battle pass xp tokens it'll be quicker so the main strategy you want to spawn in quickly find an area of the map that's fairly empty but lots of buildings to search for your ultimate goal is to get first place by earning as much money as possible so run around opening as many crates as you can obviously listen out for the faint humming noise which indicates how close or where they are and just the sound settings if you need yeah, so keep keep listening out for those crates run towards them keep moving stay ahead and open as many crates as you can if you find a cash deposit balloon use it so you don't lose the money keep an eye out for cash piles on the ground too in unsearched areas like rooftops unvisited rooms that kind of thing look for money near dead players and kill as many enemies as possible that you come across to get more cash and more xp do a few contracts if you can along the way while opening crates so scavenger contracts are good as they require you to open crates and they show you where they are you've also got supply and contracts top secret big game bounty that kind of thing keep doing as much as you can to get the most money kills looting contracts complete etc work with your teammates if they're helpful teamwork is really important and if you get first place you get a lot of xp sometimes in the region of up to 40 to 50 thousand a lot of bonuses and therefore kind of yeah more xp weapon xp and faster tier progression overall the other mode is rebirth or at the moment they've swapped that out for fortunes keep which is a new map and it's great as it's smaller matches and respawns make doing well easier you're just not wasting a lot of time if you die early on and it's resurgent so you can often respawn quite a few times so strategy you want to spawn in grab a decent floor gun and any kill streaks or other equipment you might need to survive try to open a few loot crates to earn some money start doing contracts so for example by picking up a helicopter and supply run contract do this several times to get more money to buy a loadout call in your loadout and pick the class you want make sure you have some good classes set up keep doing contracts the more you do the bigger the bonus the more xp meanwhile get as many kills as you can without dying and you want to try to stay or work with teammates as this improves your chance of survival you want to keep also looting killing doing contracts etc and prepare for the final circle so by finding or buying a gas mask plenty of ammo good class equipment self revive that kind of thing and head towards the final circle with your teammates hopefully get a victory just remember it's often better 
to hold down an area and surviving rather than rushing into a gunfight and dying. I know a lot of people have that urge, but try and resist it. Otherwise, you'll lose your equipment and load out and money, and you're less likely to survive. You also want to be patient and try to resist the temptation to sort of rush in and ditch your teammates as well. And you want your loot, contract, combat, placement, and match bonuses to be as large as possible while surviving as long as you can to get more XP and more time played. Other good limited time modes if they're around are things like Payload and Caldera Clash. They're really great to look out for those. For Warzone, you want to be doing challenges. So the daily challenges, mastery challenges, seasonal progression challenges. Each one gives you XP and again, a bonus for completing all 20, but they overlap with Vanguard so you can complete them in either game. Also do the camera challenges. You've got lots of camera challenges to do and I've got playlists for those. You've got the Damascus, you've got the Diamultra and Dark Matter, Ether even. You've got the Atomic Camos in Vanguard and you've got the Dark Ether in Warzone as well. So there's lots of camos to go for. Reticle challenges too, so go for those. Also, like again, try and overlap the challenges as much as possible to get XP more quickly. Which game is the best for plunder? Obviously, it depends on how well you do in each. Longer matches are always better than the shorter ones, but obviously if you're getting a high amount of XP, that can be better too. Generally, I'd say plunder's best as you get infinite respawns. Cash is the main objective, so it's easier to find. As longer matches, more time played, that kind of thing. Rebirth or Fortune Keep can be good too. It's better than Warzone BR as you don't risk wasting a lot of time than dying, but obviously the matches are shorter and you waste more time by loading in and out of the game, so it's less efficient. So plunder's probably best, but people can play other modes if they want. Which modes are kind of best overall? Well, I'd say first of all, again, it depends on how well you do in each mode. Again, longer matches are better than shorter ones, and you want to get as much XP as possible. Generally, in my opinion, Warzone, just as good if not better than multiplayer, if you survive for a long time, or you get lots of cash if you play plunder or whatever. You want really want to get into the top five, and this will likely be the fastest method. Otherwise, Vanguard's pretty good. Multiplayer is okay, but obviously it's variable depending on what the players are like in each match. If you're doing that, maybe play things like Shipman Dow's House, so on. Zombies to higher rounds can be good too, either in the Terra Melodicta or Durang Fang, or also the new Shine and Numa map. I'd say probably Shine and Numa would be better if you can last longer. Otherwise, Durang Fang is not bad either. And I'd say Shine and Numa is probably a bit more fun too. So those are kind of my opinions on which game is the best. Basically, play whatever you want, but Van Warzone is probably slightly better if you do well. Vanguard, multiplayer is alright, but it can be quite sweaty and annoying. And Zombies is fairly consistent the whole time around. So it's up to you what you guys want to play, really. Those are kind of my tips for leveling up the Battle Pass Fast. If you find it useful, be sure to leave a like on the videos so that other people can find it too. And feel free to check out my video on how to level up weapons fast in Warzone and Vanguard Season 4. Feel free to enter the giveaway if you want and check out other videos on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you want by clicking the bell icon and turn on post notifications so you stay up to date with all my latest Vanguard and Warzone videos. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you found it useful and I'll see you guys all on the next one.